Hello friends, welcome to another vlog here on my channel, but most importantly, welcome to the start of a brand new series where I'm going to be documenting my New York City marathon journey. Is July the 2nd as I'm filming this and the marathon is on November the 3rd so this week marks the first official week of training and I'm so excited to document this and I plan to make weekly videos covering the marathon training process now if you follow my account you know that I normally make videos related to career product management working in tech some productivity, you know, not fitness related content at all. But if you didn't know, fitness and running in particular is a massive part of my life and has been for probably the last 10 years. It's a huge part of my identity and I want this channel to represent who I am as a person and not just the work aspect of my life. So I want to share that part of my life on here. There is an element of productivity and time management involved in this because training for a marathon is no small feat and immensely time consuming. So I think it would be interesting to document how I'm balancing everything uh, that I do, which includes working full time, doing all my side projects, doing content creation being one of them, and on top of that, training for a marathon. So I'm very excited for this to be week one. And today I'm actually going to be drawing up my actual training plan. I already have the plan in an app that I use, but I want to translate it onto a big piece of paper that I can stick on the wall and cross, cross out all the sections week by week. And yeah, running a marathon, but the New York City Marathon in particular, has been on my life bucket list for the longest time. I really want to run all six of the world's top major marathons in my lifetime but we're starting with number one being new york so iconic and i feel very grateful to be in the position to run it i did have a chance to run new york a few years ago pre-covid but unfortunately i had to pull out and i feel like this is my second chance to redeem myself and to do it properly i've done so much research into training and balancing zone two with strength and what is the optimal amount of training sessions to do in a week, especially for a female and all of that stuff that when I was younger, I never really looked into. I thought all you did was just go and run as, as much as you possibly could. I didn't know anything about different types of running workouts, long runs versus tempo versus easy. Like I just, I didn't have any concept of all of those things. So I actually feel like I am in mentally and just maturity wise in a much better place to be running this marathon this year versus a few years ago when I had the previous opportunity. So if you follow me for all of my tech and career content, but you're also a runner, let me know in the comments. If you follow me for that tech and career content and you're not a runner, I'm sorry, uh, you might not want to watch these vlogs. And if you stumbled upon my videos because you don't watch my tech content and you are interested in running and fitness, hello and welcome. And I'm so excited to have you here to follow along on the journey of the next, I don't know, 17, 18-ish weeks while we, we get strong for running this race. In case you're curious, the app that I have set up for my training plans is Runner. And I've been using it for about a month because I've been warming up to the official training period. So I've already been doing a few long runs, short runs, doing strength workouts and all of that. Um, and I just feel like I'm not going to make the most of the app itself. So I don't want to keep paying for it. So I have all of the weeks here um, and I'm just going to translate all of the workouts to the paper and then cancel my subscription. This is way harder than it looks because I don't have a ruler, but let's give it a go. 
If there is something that keeps coming up in your life or in your mind as something you want to do, it could be anything, right? It could be an activity, it could be going to a certain country, it could be a business idea. If that thing keeps showing up, you have to try. And it doesn't matter how many attempts you have to make before it's successful because there is a reason it keeps coming up. To give you my own example, I have had five YouTube channels before this one and I have attempted to train for two marathons before this one. And neither of those times worked out for both the marathon and the channels for lots of different reasons. I mean, firstly, for consistency, both with the training and the discipline required to to run and train for a marathon, but also my consistency and discipline with with posting and, and committing to filming and editing and publishing regardless of views. But this time feels so different and I do not feel like I could do it this time around if I did not have those failed attempts the previous two times. So if there is something you want to do, try it once, try it twice, try it three, four, five times. It does not matter because if it keeps coming up for you, like running a marathon and having a YouTube channel does for me, because both of those things light a literal fire inside me in the best possible way that it has to mean that it's leading you to something amazing. You don't know what that is, but you're never gonna find out. So please keep trying and do not ever give up. Okay, despite taking way longer than I thought it would, the physical plan is done and it's the most satisfying thing putting this on paper. I feel like I am more connected to each and every workout because I had to write each and every workout across the weeks. And I feel like I overall just have a better understanding of how the plan is structured. There's obviously a million and one plans you can grab from the internet, but you really have to find one that works with your lifestyle, the time you have, um, the access you might have to a gym for like strength workouts and other things you might want to be doing. For example, I really enjoy Pilates and I'm going to probably substitute some of the upper body strength workouts for Pilates um, or maybe even some of the lower body strength occasionally when I feel like something less intense. So yeah, I am really happy with this. I need to fill in the total kilometers actually for every single week. I forgot to do that. And then this is going up on the wall. It is not coming off until I cross off 90% of the training workouts on here. The longest run will be 33 and that's not until October. So it's a really nice build up. I've already been doing 16 kilometers um, as part of the warm up to this for long runs. And I'm not doing 16 kilometers on here for six weeks. So I feel really good about the long runs. The only thing I'm challenged with and worried about a little bit is how to squeeze in weekday runs after work because it gets dark and my work can be a little bit chaotic and unorganized and ad hoc. So I'll just have to roll with that. There's also some travel that I have that I can put into this plan and then move some runs around in advance, knowing that there will be some travel days. So yeah, it's this is step one and I'm so excited to share this with you all. I'm about to go to the gym for my second training session of week one. I forgot to mention earlier that I already did my first training session um, yesterday, which was the lower body strength. So today is the first official run of the 18 weeks. And yeah, I'm going to do it at the gym because it's already 6.30 and it's dark. And today is a really good example of a day where I planned my work day so that I could finish right on five. And then there was an issue that popped up right on five. So I only finished work about 5.45, 
then I had to make a couple of calls, stuff like that. And here we are, it's 6.20 I think. So by the time I got changed, you know, wind down from work and things like that, it 6.20. So I'm just making my electrolyte drink, which is the liquid IV lemon lime. This is delicious, I'm almost addicted to it. It tastes so good, makes water taste amazing. Today's training session is going to be on the treadmill and a 5.5 kilometer tempo run. Bit of a warm up, some intervals, uh, and then a cool down. I don't think it should take me more than 30 minutes, maybe 35 if I need to take a break. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, today's a really good example of where I finished work later than expected, even though I tried my absolute best to finish on time. And I'm still gonna go and do this because I cannot start the official training plan by slacking off just because work finished late. I forgot to mention, I have a really exciting, I have a pretty big day tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a rest day and then I have an easy run on Thursday. Um, tomorrow I actually have a the first brand trip that I've ever done. And it's really exciting, uh, AI related brand trip. Happy next day, Wednesday. I didn't check in with you guys after I did my run last night because I had to very quickly pack and get ready to come to Sydney. I'm here for one night and I'm actually here for my first ever creator event, which is really exciting. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit nervous now because I am a smaller creator and I, I don't know who else is going to be there but it's it's for a really exciting event with a really exciting company and i get to document the whole process and come to sydney for the night go to this event meet other creators and learn a little bit about artificial intelligence it's been a very early morning i woke up at like 5 30 to go to the airport for a 9 a.m flight it's just past 12 o'clock now and the event starts at 2 so i need to get ready and then tomorrow morning, my plan is to actually go for a run, my easy run, which will be training session three of week one, uh, go for a run here in Sydney because the scenery here for running is beautiful, way better than Melbourne. So let's see if I can get up early enough to do that because I am flying out at 12 o'clock tomorrow. I'm only here for a very short amount of time. But yeah, I might capture some clips from the event. Uh, if I don't capture it on the vlog, I will definitely be actually recording it on TikTok because that is where the bulk of the content for the event will be. But nonetheless, excited to bring you along. And I think this is a really, also a really interesting part of how you fit in training with life and work and extracurricular activities. So that's why I had to get that treadmill run done yesterday. If I delayed it, I knew that I wouldn't be able to do it today. So yeah. That's that, let me get ready and then let's go to this event. Okay, this is what I've come up with for my outfit for the event. Uh, I'm feeling quite nervous, honestly. <sighs> I'm gonna take the camera along. I think it'll help me feel a bit more comfortable actually recording because I think a lot of others there will be recording as well. I've just filmed some clips about this bad boy, which is an AI powered PC, um, which is what the event is for. Um, so. Let's go.
editing Anika here because it seems I did not record the audio for the next clip. I had just got home that day from Sydney and I went to Pilates in the evening. Now I actually ended up swapping out my upper body session for week one with Pilates. It was a full body workout, but there was just as much upper body as lower body. Uh, I walked away feeling so incredibly sore in my legs and I was really worried about the run that I had to do the next day. But as you'll see, it all worked out really well. And yeah, this was session three of the week. I'm about to head off on my seven kilometer easy run. I have limited time. It's about 12 o'clock and I have a meeting at one o'clock. So getting this done during my lunch break, uh, which is good because I can't procrastinate. I just need to go. It's not very cold today. I think it's like 11 degrees. So I'm wearing nothing too warm on top. This is a really old Lululemon uh, top that I have and zip up. I think it's the Align zip. And then I'm wearing two times you light compression tights. I've never worn compression and it feels so good. It feels like I'm wearing nothing, but I feel very like supported and sucked in. And then I'm also wearing light compression socks and Nike Infinity Run 4. I'm not sure how I feel about these shoes yet, so we'll see. I haven't been on a outdoor run with them. I've only been on walks and running on the treadmill and I don't know if they're right for my feet, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna go on this run. I just had two coffees and a banana. I think that should be fine because it's only seven kilometers and it's gonna be at a cruisy easy pace. So I'm not too worried. <sighs> Just need to go and get this thing done and I'm gonna feel amazing afterwards. And surprisingly, after my Pilates class yesterday, I was a bit worried that it was too leg heavy and I was gonna be really sore today, but actually my legs were already sore. So doing the Pilates actually helped to loosen everything up. And today I feel like my legs are ready to actually run again. So yeah, all right, let's go do this. I smashed that run, it felt really good. And I'm a couple of minutes late to my meeting, so I'm gonna jump on that looking like a sweaty mess. But it's okay. <laughs> lunch runs might be the new thing. I feel so good knowing that it's not even halfway through the day and I've ticked off that run. Post run, late lunch, it's all I got time for. And coffee. I am having some electrolytes as well inside. These socks are so tight to get on. Okay, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, it's time to wrap up week one of New York Marathon training. And I thought I would wrap it up in the same place that I started it earlier this week, except I have a company this time and I have my training buddy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I thought we would just do a bit of a debrief, a bit of a recap. Uh, we've obviously been talking about our training all the time, um, but I thought it would be interesting for you to hear from someone else who's not me, just to make things a bit more interesting. So yeah, how has week one been for you? Pretty smooth. Um... I mean, we did sort of start before training officially started. Like we did do um, a couple of 11Ks, a big 16K. Um, I think that really helped for the training. And this week, well, we only did 10K today. So starting off light, uh, relatively light. And then, uh, what else? Next week, small bump, 12, I think. And then. For the long run, you For mean? the long run, yeah. Oh yeah, total. total. We have, yeah, the intervals, easy runs, which definitely are important to do. Not skimp out on those if you're planning to do a marathon yourself. On, on, a, rate, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you for training and how excited are you for the actual race day? 
Oh, like 100 out of 10 excited for the actual race. 100 out of 10. It's going to be so yeah. cool. Um, the actual training. It would be cool to see how far I can run and see how I feel after. I think my furthest is 23K, just over half. Um, and that was my first ever one, so I was dying after that. That was a great ocean road half. You were not dying after that. I was. No, you My shoulders weren't. were sore. Your shoulders were sore. My feet were sore. True, but you smashed. Uh, again, that all came from training. Mm. So... Yeah, I've never so. trained with someone before. Uh, in fact, I've never ever really run with anyone before. We don't really run together. We usually, for the most part, we start running together and then I finish last. But <laughs> Not last. It's, it's came, nice having... Came second. It's a lot easier to skip runs and make excuses if it's just you. And I've definitely done that before in the last two marathons that I have attempted to train for. But like I said earlier this week, I feel like this time's different. It has to be different because we're locked in. We're locked in. We're locked in. All right, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching again. If you got this far, stay tuned for week two. This is only week one of 18, 18 weeks. Uh, I'm still gonna be making my usual videos around product and tech and careers and also all, all of those things. Uh, but running and fitness is a big part of my life and I really enjoy watching other running videos. In fact, I think we both binge fitness <laughs> videos, uh, especially marathon training videos. Uh, so I wanna make what <laughs> I like to watch. So I hope you don't mind um, this being a little bit different to what I usually make. But if you're also a runner, if you're into fitness, if you wanna do a marathon, I hope these will be interesting for you. And if you are still watching, leave a comment saying, pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> and we'll have a different word for next week. Would you like to do a debrief at the end of every week? Maybe. I'll join in, yeah. Yeah, should be good fun. Okay, nice. Especially towards the end, there'll be. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>